being a professional musician has given me so many opportunities that I would not have even dreamed of. But there are some pros and cons to becoming a professional musician. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about just that. What are some of the perks of being a violinist and or musician? And what are some of the downsides? Let's jump right in. Also, for meeting for the first time, my name is Eric, I'm a violinist. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Helps the channel to provide more videos for you. Let's dive right into the first pro of being a musician. You get to meet amazing musicians from around the world. I had the privilege to play with musicians from Mumbai, India on a performance with Vijay Prakash. If you don't know who Vijay Prakash is, he is like an amazing down-to-earth human being who recorded you know, Bollywood soundtracks, you might know him through Slumdog Millionaire. That was like a really, really cool experience. And if it wasn't for that experience, I would not have met like amazing people and met amazing like musicians who are just really dedicated to their craft, who are really dedicated to the entire performance. And it was just a privilege to be able to play with them. And that was not just the only situation where I had that feeling. There are so many different occurrences throughout my life where I got to meet people from different cultures and we don't really speak the same language, but we kind of understand what's happening because music is not so much a universal language per se, but it's a universal feeling. And that's something that really binds us together as a society in the world. On the contrary though, the con is that even though you meet amazing musicians, sometimes you don't meet nice and professional people. And I've come across this particular problem when I'm doing various performances, various gigs, it's kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes when I play a wedding gig, I meet people that are, you know, really, really nice, professional, they're on time, they play the music and then we all go home and it was a great experience. But on the downside, sometimes I meet those people in those wedding gigs and, you know, they may be difficult to work with. And that's something that I kind of keep in the back of my head. You know, that famous saying, you don't remember what people say, but you remember how they made you feel. And that's very much a very, very important aspect of the musician career. And this is just not for wedding gigs. This is even for, you know, freelance orchestras in my region. And you may have come across this as well. So that's definitely a con when it comes to becoming a professional musician. You are dealing with different personalities. Sometimes you have no choice but to work with a specific personality for a given amount of time. This is actually the case in major large symphony orchestras where you are tenured for a, for a long period of time, but yet you still work with the same people that you may or may not like. Another pro to this entire conversation is that you get to play amazing music. And I have the privilege, as I said before, to play Indian Bollywood music, but I also had the privilege of playing Iranian pop and classical and jazz. And that kind of makes this whole experience of becoming a musician possible. If you're a musician or if you're an aspiring musician, I recommend that you diversify your musical genre taste because that gives you unlimited possibilities and more work for you. And I love playing my symphony orchestra repertoire. Don't get me wrong. I love that. But there's also something to be said about playing, you know, pop music. There's also a completely different skill set to be able to play pop and current music. So it's very cool to have that variety in my music career. And that's how I never get bored. That's something that I recommend you do if or something for you to consider when you're becoming a professional musician. Another con to becoming a professional violinist and or musician is that sometimes you have to play a gig for the money. That is just the reality of life. Sometimes there are slow seasons and sometimes there are great seasons and sometimes you can be selective and sometimes you cannot be selective. For instance, in my region in the United States, most classical music and most music uh, festivals and whatnot happen like in the summer, but then like the season itself happens in the fall, very similar to like the school year in the United States. Like you start in September and then you kind of go through May, possibly early June, but that's pretty much it. You know, sometimes there are moments in the schedule where you just don't have any work lined up and that can be very stressful. But as long as you're diligent, it is possible. Just mind you that it is very difficult to be able to schedule something in between because if you're in a specific area, you know who's accepting what gigs and people kind of pass gigs whenever they can do them. So something for you to keep in mind. Another perk of being a professional violinist is that you are a business. You know the famous saying by Jay-Z, and normally I don't quote Jay-Z on this channel, but today is the day, folks, where I quote Jay-Z, the rapper. I'm not a businessman, but I'm a business. 
man. And it's important for you to establish yourself as a business because if you're not in the pursuit of an orchestra job with a salary, with a chair and tenureship and whatever, then you become a naturally born entrepreneur. And actually, most classical musicians have the tool set to become natural entrepreneurs. And what an entrepreneur is, is simply you're creating a business, you know, and you're solving a problem for a profit. The word profit might scare you, but actually it's, it shouldn't scare you and you shouldn't cringe when you hear the word profit. All that is, is when you're providing a service that is of quality and value, people simply give you a piece of paper that looks like a Benjamin as a token of your appreciation. And that's how you know that you're doing something right. And that's something that has really interested me on this channel and something that I talk about the Violin Podcast and even some other videos on this channel because being a business is so crucial in the life of a musician and most people are not really good at it. And most musicians are not really good at it because they're focusing on their craft. However, it is important to dive deep a little bit into the whole business, business administration and how taxes work, how accounting works, etc. The simple contrast and the con to this is that you are actually running a business and running a business is hard people. It has its rewards, it has its perks, but it is a very difficult endeavor to run a business because you have to be familiar with the taxes and the accounting and you have to know the numbers left and right. You have to understand how much you're putting aside for taxes. You have to understand how much you're putting, you know, away into your savings and how much you're paying yourself. And if you have employees in a music company or if you're like a freelancer and you hire people to do various services for you, then you have to keep track of all that. And it becomes very stressful because then you're also dealing with multiple personalities, as I said in another con um, earlier in this video. But, you know, that's that just comes with the job when you're becoming a professional violinist. You are a business. Yes. However, there are some cons because you are actually the owner of a business and you have to be the one that cares the most. And that's it. I mean, the pros and cons are pretty clear, but I think it's so rewarding to be a violinist in today's world in the year 2022. Or if you're watching this video in the future, I believe it's completely relevant because I'm not talking about specific technology here. That just is just the basics of, you know, the pros and cons of becoming a musician. But I want to get your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let's have a wonderful conversation here. What do you think are some other pros and cons to becoming a professional musician? Because this is just like the tip of the iceberg, folks. I hope that I can, you know, maybe create a long list. Maybe I can make like a longer video with a longer list of some of the things that I can come up with or something that has experience that I've experienced in my life. So, yeah, let's start the conversation below. I want to get your thoughts. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications so that you get notified for when new videos come out. Again, it helps me out and it helps out the channel to provide more videos for you. Also, take a look at some videos and some playlists right over here, right over here. Okay, I'm out. See you guys.